Here, the question is, an automated air conditioner is programmed to turn its heating unit on when the temperature falls below 17 degrees Celsius and to turn its refrigeration unit on when the temperature exceeds 26 degrees Celsius. The air conditioner is designed to operate at temperatures between minus 10 degrees Celsius and plus 40 degrees Celsius. Given the above specification, which of the following sets of values shows that the equivalence partition test design technique has been used correctly? And these are our options. Let's draw the equivalence classes diagram to get the answer. As per the question, its heating unit turns on when the temperature falls below 17 degrees, which means that 17 is one of the boundaries. As per the question, refrigeration unit turns on when the temperature exceeds 26 degrees, which means that 26 is one of the boundaries. And again, as per the question, the air conditioner is designed to operate at temperatures between minus 10 degrees Celsius and plus 40 degrees Celsius. That means negative 10 and 40 are two more boundaries. With this, the equivalence classes diagram is ready. Now, we will analyze each of the options one by one. Option A is negative 11, negative 1, 18, 27, 51. Option B is negative 11, negative 1, 12, 18, 27, 51. Option C is negative 11, 18, 51. Option D is negative 1, 12, 18, 27. As per the question, we have to find which of the following sets of values shows that the equivalence partition test design technique has been used correctly. If we analyze all the options, option A and option B are correct because all the boundaries are covered here. Now we have to select the best answer. And option A is the best answer here because here we are achieving our goal with minimum test cases. Therefore, Option A is the correct answer.